Sexy red. <laughs> yeah. It's sexy. And Yo, hey, she going crazy, bro. You got to give her her flowers, bro. She going crazy. <laughs> sexy turned up, y'all. Y'all hate her. Damn. Yeah, that's uh, uh she she she's delivering a whore spirit amongst young girl. She she's introducing. We've had a gangster spirit. Facts. The gangster spirit damn near wiped the young black males out. This whole spirit. This whole spirit is fit to do a number on the young black girl. How so, Charles? They got the boys. They never had focus on black girls before. The powers to be, the tools of white supremacy have never just strictly targeted black girls. Damn. They first started targeting black girls with imagery, saying, black girl, you're not pretty if you don't have white girl hair. That's facts. Those were symbolic things that they were doing. Now, now they're stripping the black girl of the the black man had already shamed the black woman's image to the world by way of rap lyrics. Bitch, ho, suck my dick, pouring beer on her in the rap videos. So that's why Miss Dolores C. Tucker came out and said, hold up, y'all, we this misogyny music. So that's why she came out and did. She saw what it was doing. Mm, right? Influencing. So now we're at a point now, uh, if a black woman is raped, she's going to be questioned compared to a white woman. Facts. They're going to automatically think a white, a black girl wants it. So what we're going to start seeing, because of the imagery of sexy red, we're going to start back seeing white boys getting drunk, uh, getting their trucks, going back into the black community, snatching up the sexy red-looking black girl, or, or, or booking one prostitute for a, a, a sexy red. It, it, it's going to get ugly, I mean, for the black girl. So, Damn. So, look, look. Make sure you hit the, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Now, check this out. You know what I'm saying? I like sexy red. You feel me? That's a bad, that's a bad... That's a bad bra. That's my type of bitch. You know what I'm saying? She she sexy. She ratchet. She ain't classy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I can see where Charles is coming from because what's the most influential thing known to man or just right now in today's society? I'm going to let y'all think on that shit. It's music. If you want to influence the youth, if you want to... um. If you want to have a crowd, if you want to have a following, if you want to influence the whole world, how could you do that? Music. You feel me? Especially, especially within the black culture, within black rap, hip hop. I'm not talking about jazz. I'm not talking about uh, old school R&B because old school R&B was different. Them niggas was going through real ass breakups and they trying to get that girl or their wife back because they done fucked up. Nowadays, it's all about sex, money, pussy, power, weed, Percocet, Percocet, pop perk. You feel me? That's all it is. Pop perk. Now, you see how rap has influenced young African-Americans. Young African-Americans, it's almost, it's almost like a fucking cancer. Like, they're, they're so influenced by it that they would, rather, they, would, they would literally go out there and commit a crime and actually think that they can get, away, get, get off of it. When in reality, it doesn't work like that. You as a young man or you as a young young woman, you have to learn how to separate the real from the fake. Do I listen to rap music? Yes, but I'm going. But am I going to do anything that they saying in these songs, or am I even going to do some dumb shit just because Lil Durk said he got a thirty clip on him? He a spread op at the gas station. No, nigga, because that's entertainment. These most of these niggas is not doing that shit, and the niggas that's doing that shit is in jail. The niggas that's doing that shit is in jail. That nigga Pooh Shiesty, that nigga that did that, that nigga did a hit outside in a, in a green McLaren, and that nigga doing jail time. That's the reality. That's the results. You feel me? So, with the young broads, I can see how Sexy Red can influence them. Pound Town just left Pound Town. What y'all think? Hey, I'm just I'm just I'm just talking about shit like a preacher. No cap. So the black girl finna start being raped more. <laughs> She finna start being publicly brutalized like the woman who was hit in the head with the rock. All of this imagery makes it easy for a black woman to get hit in the head with a rock and we all stand around and look at it. 
Damn. Because she's, she, she's being demeaned. She's being degraded in such a way you'll start spitting on her. Turning that booty all over that pussy up, putting your head to the ground, making your ass to the world. Man, listen, black girls are going to start being molested at a rate that you guys have not seen like no other. I hope not. Imagery. Because little black girls is for the start becoming sexually explicit. To sing the songs of Brown Booty Hole, little black girls is for the start becoming more enticing to, to pedophiles. Mm. Uh, 12 year old homosexual boys is for the start having grown homosexual because they're gonna be more like the, the music, homie. Fuck. The music. <laughs> Uh, That's ugly. Satan have always existed in music. Lucifer, the devil, darkness have always lived through music. That's why it's always been a parental advisory, and it's always been man, kids ain't supposed to don't cut it out. Right. Because what, what, it, what the darkness inside of you, whether those are your desires or, or, or whatever are usually activated in music. That's why a nigga play love songs, sex songs, it, 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 it can be activated in music. So uh, these elements are, are being deposited, homie, in our children because they get to hear this shit. They get to see this shit. Uh, and the wild thing is, like, growing up, you know what I'm saying, I'm 26. Growing up, um... My granny used to get on my motherfucking ass if I was playing any type of rap music. She'd be like, boy, turn that turn that mess off. Boy, turn that shit off. I ain't trying to hear that. And when I was younger, I'm like, dang, why are you tripping so hard? Why are you tripping like that? But as I got older, I started to realize them songs, a lot of them songs that I liked back then, I had no business listening to that shit. Like, I had no business listening to fucking Bump and Grind by R. Kelly, nigga. I'm thinking this nigga talking about... That nigga dancing and shit. Boy, this nigga talking about bump and grind. He on some freaky dinky shit. He peeing on hoes. You know what I'm saying? So, imagine, imagine um, a household where, you know, you got, the, you got the younger kids and the parents aren't really advising them. They're just letting them do whatever they, whatever they want. Listen to whatever they want. Digest whatever they want. Don't check their phones. You got little kids nowadays addicted to porn having erectile dysfunctions because all of this shit is to harm you. Literally, all this shit is to harm you. From the sexual entertainment industry to how people promote the image, there's a reason why these artists or these people portray portray themselves that way in order to get likes, views, and attention. And at the end of the day, it's going to hit your mind if you're not strong enough because I know how to separate that shit. Like, I know what's real, I know what's fake. Porn is fucking fake. That shit is fake as fuck. But you got motherfuckers out here addicted to it. And then once they finally actually get the real shit or he or her, whatever the fuck it want to, whatever it be, they can't perform because guess what? They, 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 they not used to the real shit. Used to that fake shit. And that's how it be. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm, tr hey, this shit gets, this, this shit gets deeper than this video. This shit gets way deeper. And a lot of people are not realizing this. Uh, and not only that, they watch the rewards of it. Mm -hmm. so I, I, I just read a question where somebody asked Sexy Red something about why she always carrying money around. She said that she carry a, a lot of money around because it's her emotional pit. Do you know how many young girls will now be tricked because a nigga got a lot of money can show them? I used to trick girls like that. I'm, the little hole in the hood. I'll take two thousand dollars and go get four hundred dollars worth of one. Mm. Stack fat. Two hundred dollars worth of five. Some twenties and tens, and I'll make two thousand dollars look like twenty thousand dollars to a pope motherfucker. Crazy. It start. And so we don't know. The kids don't know. Yeah. Black motherfucker walk around with a wad of money. We really don't have no power because cash money have become really obsolete. No use. Uh, no person with power hoards cash.
Facts. Nobody. No person with power and influence hoards cash on them. I agree. And and and, and if she's using this tool and element as, as, as an emotional support, then she loves money. And for the love of money is the root of all evil. Oh shit. A nigga who loves money will get broke and fuck a punk for some money. A nigga who loves money will rob his homeboy when he get mad at him because he loves money. Yep. A nigga who loves money, nigga. Do anything. Damn near kill mama for the insurance money. Hey, hey, y'all, that, hey. Is money the root of all evil? Imagine if we just took money out of society right now. Do you think everyone would be a lot happier? Do you think everyone would be just more grateful? Why do we need to have money? I mean, of course we need money to live, to survive. But who created money? Who created these systems in order to keep you working all the time and to not make any money or to not make additional income? All these systems have been put in place. That way you don't uh, go forward in life. You feel me? So check this out. Let's say you, 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 you got your kid. You ain't watching the little nigga. He watching porn. He listening to, to some bullshit. He don't know how to separate uh, reality from the fakeness. Then you got the drugs. You got the sexual addictions. Then you got the violence. By the time he get to 2025... He's not, he's not going to be, he's not, he's not going to, he's not going to be the same. He's not going to be the same. You just can't. And that's why you have to educate yourself and pass it down. It's all about educating yourself. If you can educate yourself now and when you get older, you can guide your children in the right path. Now, I'm not saying that they can't listen to R&B or rap music because that's our culture. But educate them on what's real and what's fake. That way they know. See what I'm saying? But if you don't know anything, you can't teach anything. And that's the problem within our culture, within our, our people. You know what I'm saying? You have to educate yourself. Because once you become educated, you can set your family up for greatness when you pass away. See what I'm saying? Hey, boy, hey, I'm talking my sh like a preacher now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Get right. So when you hear somebody say money is their emotional support, uh, what happens when you ain't got this money? You do whatever to get it. And you mm -hmm. can't tell me that little girl ain't done whatever to get it. Whatever record executive done played in her pussy. Whatever producer done go make a lay on a producer's couch. I heard Ashante give a whole interview about how one of the bigger producers in the game just wanted her to take, wanted her to take a shower with him. Could have got off of what? But because she wouldn't, he charged her over for the track. Damn. So nigga, you think she ain't fucking and sucking? You think when them white boy got her down off on them motherfucking sideline, didn't Robert Kraft get caught in the whole house? The motherfucker that went and got meat meals out of there, didn't he get caught in the whole house the Super Bowl weekend? They like that, they like these young hoes. So it's no different during slavery. When a bunch of drunk slave masters say, hey, man, go get some of Master William, that gal down there, that big butt, that gal. And the big butt gal slave girl come open up their booties and their pussies and let these white men have it. It's no difference now, nigga. If you get in the industry, you're a slave. You're a slave to the industry, the music industry. If you go into Hollywood, you're a slave to Hollywood. That's why these Hollywood people are losing their houses while they're on strike, but they're not talking about it. The rapper, the slaves. So if you think these little girls ain't coming in here with these lyrics, looking how they looking at these parties, they ain't getting fucked. Y'all thinking, man, come on now. Y'all think these sick-minded ass people at the highest heights with all this money ain't digging in their booty all they rapping about? That's crazy. Y'all keep playing crazy if y'all want to. That's why I don't want in. Man, y'all, this shit. that shit really just got dark as fuck. I ain't gonna count, bro. Charleston damn near took my e e. I stopped talking. Hey, I don't know what y'all output on this, man. Hit that like button, subscribe button, comment below what you think on the video, man. It's your boy the Real Rex. I'm going. I'm out. Y'all stay tuned.